Okay, you mentioned uh, metals and materials and things like that. So super space age materials usually. C can yeah. you give like quickly comment on like what what are some of these metals? metals? Yeah, so, almost every sh every shoulder replacement has titanium in it, right? Yeah. They all have titanium. Uh, cobalt chrome is the sh real shiny metal that's usually the articulating surface. So like same thing in the knee that's articulating with the polyethylene, which is the, the plastic, right? So cobalt chrome is a common metal. Uh, stainless steel is not used as much in a, a lot of these repl replacements, but stainless steel is the other metal in the body we use a lot of. Um, and, uh, and so those are kind of like your three big metals in, in the body, but for short replacements specifically, it's a lot of titanium, cobalt, chrome, and then polyethylene is the plastic. Now there's treatments that are done to those plastics. Uh, there's, you know, a certain number amount of cross-linking that they do to make it. There's high molecular weight. You know, there's highly cross-linked poly. There's polyethylene with vitamin E in it to decrease free radical. I mean, we're getting into a lot of details, yeah. but the point being is, it's it's a very fancy plastic, yeah. Very fancy fancy metal, and they're articulating with each other. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to touch on because yeah. I, I hear this uh, kind of this uh, loosely turned. Oh, just we're gonna put some metal and plastic in, right. and then immediately in my head I'm thinking of like the rubber made like Office right. Depot container oh, plastic. Yeah, yeah. You know, like no 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 no. Yeah. This is like. And I don't, yeah, and so it makes it yeah. sound cheap. It, and yeah, people, right. People exactly. About cost. I know we were talking about this one day. Um, you know. If you ever have, and I've fortunately had the ability to go to a, a plant tour, right, and, mm -hmm. and tour where these implants are made for one of the companies I use, and it's you, you soon, you very quickly realize why these implants cost so much money, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they're not cheap. You know, a, a shoulder arthroplasty could be, you know, an actual implant could be anywhere from thirty five hundred dollars to seven or eight thousand dollars, right? That range. But the, those implants are so uh, well manufactured. They're cared by so many people. Have to touch them to to bring them to up to speed. Like I literally watched, you know, a person with a a large magnifying glass and the implant in their hand, you know, gloved hand, and they're taking an instrument and they're cutting the lines in the porous coating on the implant. Like it's literally done by hand. And this is one of the touches that has to be done to do to make these implants, right? Mm -hmm. So they're in these significant, you know, these machines that are like buffing the surfaces to the smoothest because you, you don't want any imperfection. If you have an imperfection right. in the implant, you'll tear up, you, you'll cut into your polyethylene and you start to create an inflammatory reaction in your shoulder and your <laughs> implant loosens, right? So yeah. it is highly manufactured. It is highly detailed. And then they have to go through a sterilization process, which is not just like a oh, pop it in there, it's done. It's like, it's like, here's this section of the sterilization. Here's the next. Some get shipped out to get sterilized and come back. Like there's so much that goes into making an implant. So you wonder why healthcare costs so much. I mean, you got to pay for all that stuff. Right. right. Pay for the person, every person who touched it. You got to pay for the shipping. You got to pay for, there's just so much that goes into it. So yes, it is expensive. We're fortunate the United States have access to some of these great things that we do because mm -hmm. a lot of, a lot of countries do not have access to shoulder replacements like we have here in the United States. Right. Yeah. I think that's an excellent point. There's a lot of really skilled people that, that go, th that are part of this entire process. Yeah. The, the people at the facility that make it, uh, once it arrives at the hospital, the surgeon who puts it in and the people at the hospital, the, the scrub techs, the, 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 the instrumentation utilized to actually that you use to put the implant in all that. There's just so much that goes into yeah. taking care of just one person, right. I mean, let alone the thousands that right. go in.